guys. It's KO Cool. It's me again. How y'all doing? Well, I was quite surprised at the reaction from the KFED interview. I feel like I may be the only one other than Cinema Shogun that thinks that Kevin was quite respectful. All the other channels that do stuff on Britney, Popcorn Planet, of course, they're like bagging Kevin out. Yeah, yeah. Sebastian bagging the crap out of K-Fed. Sebastian Soto, I used to watch him, but he just became too queeny. Anyway, he said that he would suck Sam Ascari's D because of the posts that he put up defending Britney. Well, I think you hit the nail on the head there, mate. I think you would suck his D because you think he's hot. Not because of what he says. It, what he says is absolute bullshit, you know? I just, I don't understand. I can't even believe you said that because that guy is an absolute joker paid employee. You're having a go at K-Fed, but you want to suck Sam's D? That don't make sense because the, <laughs> at the end of the day, Scammy Boy is way worse. And Sloan, I love Sloan, but why did you have to bag Kevin out? He didn't even say anything bad about Britney. I just think everyone's got their blinkers on. And as I said, leave your judgments at the door because this is a whole new problem we're looking at. We're not talking about the conservatorship. We're not talking about all the abuse Britney went through. He was actually talking about their sons and how they're being affected. And I became quite irate when I was listening to all these goons just going on saying, oh, you know, these kids are nearly 18. They should get used to their mum's naked photos. No, no, I'm sorry, but they shouldn't ever have to get used to that because do you understand their mum was Britney Spears, a pop icon? She wasn't a X-rated Playboy model. So there's been a real switcheroonie and I don't think you guys actually grasp the fact that her boys would have idolized her like that is Britney Spears. That's my mum. And now she doesn't do anything bar spin around in circles in the foyer of her house and take nude shots. Obviously she's a bit, uh, you know, unhinged. But the thing is, everyone's like, KFED should never have spoken about this private information. Well, how about this for a thought? The boys would have loved to have spoken, but they are minors at this point, And it's probably better that their dad speaks on behalf of them. How else are they going to come on and go, hey, mum, just uh, wanting to send out a message to you. Can you stop doing all the nudes? It's really embarrassing. Like, come on. Everyone's got to get a grip and stop hating people from years ago and how they acted 10 years ago. It's like you can't carry all that baggage to every single new problem. Every problem is its own problem and you must keep it within being reasonable because everyone I've looked at is unreasonable, bar Cinema Shogun. I don't know why he and myself think very similar, but I've noticed that a lot of the gay boys, and I, hey, I, I love gay people, don't think I'm having a go, but all these gay boys love Britney because she is a gay icon and they can't see past that all the yes queens and it's like even cinema shogun said i don't have kids so it's hard for me to respond which is a very wise way to look at it i have a kid he just turned 18 he's like these boys and i asked him yesterday before i made the video i made yesterday how would you feel if i started putting half naked pictures up on instagram he said he'd be devastated and never talk to me again so there you go it it came out the horse's mouth and the horse's mouth is an 18 year old boy. I don't care if it's Britney. I don't care if it's me. It, it doesn't, you don't have to be famous. You don't have to be an icon. It's just freaking embarrassing. So stop saying it's a, oh, this is a money grab for KFED. Oh, Jamie made KFED do this. It's like, oh my God, everyone's just so wound up about the past. I think sometimes you got to let it go guys because the past has happened and the future hasn't. But guess what's happening right now? the present and all of you are stuck in the past hating on people that may have done bad things but this is a whole new problem her boys are grown up now and they're seeing shit that they don't like you gotta wrap your brains around it and stop being such yes queen because guess what your queen is mental and she's hurting her children and to be quite honest that's all i really care about I don't really care if Britney's crazy. I don't care if she spins in her foyer every day. I really don't. But I do care about her sons because I think they are innocent collateral that happened. They didn't ask to be born. They didn't ask to be exposed to any of this shit. So everyone needs to get a mother effing grip. Whew.
There's my rant for today. Most of my subbies agreed with me, but I must say my video didn't get the views that it usually does because I must have upset people. And it's like, you know what? I was upset by seeing Sloan carry on the way he did. I'll still watch his videos. I can't agree on everything he says. He's a young gay boy. He doesn't have a clue about raising a son, a teenage son. He doesn't. And I'm not being mean saying that, but it's just facts. So... The followers that agreed with me, I understand you're a little bit wiser than most because all these youngsters are just like, oh yes queen, don't you pick on my queen. She was in a conservatorship for 13 years. Why aren't her sons talking about that? Well, you know why? Because it didn't really affect them the way this is affecting them. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like, how can this be so easy to see? The conservatorship didn't affect them daily. And you can come back and go, oh, well, they didn't have their mum in their lives. Well, it's what they were used to. They had a really good family unit with their half brothers and sisters. They have been protected by the press. Like I must say, we have very, very rarely seen them growing up unless it was Brittany taking photos. So yeah, Kevin and his wife have done a pretty good job protecting them. What's, your, what's everyone's point? That these kids should come out and say stuff about the conservatorship? Well, no, I don't know if you realize, but teenagers are pretty selfish. And the biggest thing in their lives right now is their mum is acting like an insane mental patient. Putting up naked photos every day is not very sane. And before you all start losing it and saying it's body positivity, it is not body positivity. She could run along the beach naked every single day. She just doesn't have to post it. She can be free as she wants. She can walk around naked with her titties out whenever at home, whether she's at a private beach, holiday, whatever. She can do that. She just doesn't need to put it on Instagram because she's not, <laughs> she's got teenage sons now and they're not talking to her because of it. Uh, I don't know why this is hard for people to understand, but obviously I'm on the, the wrong side because I should be on the side of hating K-Fed, hating Jamie, oh, hating the conservatorship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they effed up and they did wrong. Keep moving forward, people. Keep moving. Life changes every day. It's, it's not the same every day and you can't hate people for something they did when they were in their early 20s. You know, it's, oh God, 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 God. I hope you've all grasped the point that I'm trying to make here, that life changes, people grow. Shut up, Doogie in the background. People grow, they change, they evolve, they become enlightened, which I'm hoping all of the YouTubers that make stuff about this, I hope they become enlightened because guess what? Kevin did not do a bad interview. In my solid opinion, he spoke on behalf of the boys because they're not going to come on and do an interview. I don't care all the shit that happened back in the past because you know what? We weren't there. We weren't in the room. We didn't see it happen daily. You know, there's two sides to every story and the truth lays somewhere in the middle. And for some reason, anything to do with Britney, everyone is always completely completely on her side and it's like nah man you guys all need to get a grip pull your heads in it's funny one of my videos got 18 plus restricted which basically means no one will ever see it and it was the one that I said I know where she's living and she's living at Westlake now that is a very strange thing to happen out of the amount of videos I have made to think they took that tried to give me a strike the other night and removed my video and then I appealed and they put the video back um and then I woke up the next morning and that video had been age restricted and age restriction just means you're never going to earn money off it and you're probably going to get maybe a handful more views because it's just a nice way of saying yeah we've hidden the shit out of your video and out of all the videos I made that one Give me a break. I must have cracked the code. That's all it's telling me. I freaking cracked the code. And she does live at Westlake and they just don't want people to know. Let's just end it on a light note and look at what Scammy Boy's been doing. Because he does bring a lot of comedy into my life. Because he's such a dick. Check out this. Someone made him WWE. I think that would be his dream. Just rubbing up, rubbing up against muscly men every day. Don't you reckon? <laughs> You know, sniffing their butts. Oh, so oh, look at you with your long, luxurious hair. What a man. That is neat. That is man, man. But little do they know that he's got little chicky legs that could break at any second. And inside that scone of his, 
there's a lot of sawdust and there's just a tiny tiny little cheeky brain just rattling around inside his head it's a true story I, I actually know that for fact because when you look in his eyes nobody's home and you know why because all he can ever think about is all right sam wake up do weights go and look at yourself in the mirror for an hour and then my day's done <laughs> That's Sam's day. And as for the song coming out with Elton, I've told you, she recorded it in 2015 and did a tweet saying, Tiny Dancer, man, I don't know why everyone's so deluded. Anyone can remix a song a many years later. And by the way, check out frickin' Scammy Boy at Elton's big Oscar party event. But you know, Sammy seemed to be able to fit it in, but have a listen to how he talks. It's pretty goddamn hilarious because she's like, oh, where's Brittany? Oh, you know, she's at home. Um, and he, he balked because he's like, ah, because all is in his head is she's at home spinning in the foyer. <laughs> and he's like, no, she's at home doing stuff. And oh yeah, she's been really busy traveling in her mind. You be here tonight? Is she your date? <laughs> I wish she was. No, she's at home doing a couple of stuff. She's traveling a lot. So, yeah. Okay. I did see Donatella Versace here. Yeah. I spoke. Good one, Sam. Who do you think he's been um, getting acting lessons off? Oh, Mel. That's right. Mel Gibson. Because <laughs> he's awesome, isn't he? But yeah, she's just uh, spinning around. She is not able to go to the Oscar, you know, party that Elton put on because she's in Westlake. Hey, let's have a look at a comment that someone wrote. This is the what a lot of people believe. And it's really, really disturbing. This seems like a fake account. Are you on the payroll? I know they're trying to trash her, but all you need to get your facts straight. Me! I hope it's a fake account, but if not, I have to say, this is the saddest community of K-Fed lovers. Oh yeah, we all love K-Fed. Saying he's a great dad, lol. The one that said that there's a reason she's in a conservatorship, oh yeah, they lied. And they said she had dementia and didn't let her hire her own lawyers and they drugged her and they didn't let her have Tylenols and they blah, 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 blah. That's what I think of people that write that stuff because you know what? I'm allowed to have my opinion, just as you are. But I just don't tend to go to other sites and spew hate like this. But anyway, yeah, we all love K-Fed. Best dad, dad of the year, actually. He raised Britney's kids and Britney's a freaking mental case. So uh, what do you got? <laughs> She's trafficked. Man, this bullshit that goes on about that Britney was trafficked. I know she said it in her court hearing. She said it felt like it. She didn't say she was. So why don't you get your facts straight? And why don't you let love in your hearts where there is compassion? All I have to say to people like this is blocked. I don't need demented people like this commenting even on my videos. But I'll let it stay up so people can see the psycho people that are out there. I'm on the side of the truth and I get facts and then I sometimes guess what's happening. But I think if you watch my videos, I generally say, I don't know, man, I really don't know. It's very confusing. They're trying to do this. Sometimes I believe it, sometimes I don't. I'm allowed to change my mind. But saying that K-Fed's a bad dad, the only people you're hurting are the kids because they absolutely adore him. And that's the only people you're hurting. So good on you. You're offending kids. Who's the nice person now? Anyway, yeah, I am on the payroll. You caught me out. Pfft, idiot. Oh, man. That's why I've been putting that angry koala at the end of my videos, because that's how I feel towards all these psychos. And look, they're all coming out of the woodwork because I'm not saying, yes, queen. And after this video, oh, I'm sure I'm going to have a lot more because I bagged freaking channels out that just talk their language. I watch their channels, I don't talk their language, but I don't write just a paragraph that large of hate, absolute imbecile. And yeah, koalas are really sleepy, but when they're awake, they're really effing angry. And I'm angry today because you guys are twisted sisters. <laughs> yeah, yes queen. I'm so with Cinema Shogun, I really am. I don't know, uh, an American guy thinks the same and as, as an Australian girl, it just goes to show that some people can think with lucid thoughts and logic rather than just absolute bagging people out and saying everyone shit, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you guys are the bad people. I only make fun of Sam and, and he freaking deserves it, to be honest, because he actually is far too in love with himself. And that's how Aussies deal with people with big egos. We freaking make fun of them. Come down a peg or two. Come down to our level, son. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow.
I love you. I love every single one of you. Don't hate me because I don't think the same as you. That's just life. This person I've never seen comment, so it's probably a bot or someone that works for Sam. Who knows, man? Anyway, let the good vibes in. Let the bad vibes out. You feel me? You dig? Cheers, ballers. And I just want to say R.I.P. to our Olivia. She was beautiful, beautiful Australian and touched many hearts. And we all love her.